Hey guys, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com and the US Tech Channel. Today we'll be looking at the HTC One on AT&T. We're going to use Hasoon 2000's uh, all-in-one toolkit to unlock the bootloader. So first you're going to want to go to the XDA thread. There's a lot of interesting stuff in there, a lot of tips. Uh, go ahead and download it. I extracted it to the C, uh, the root of the C drive, uh, all-in-one folder. The first thing you're going to want to do is use the get token ID feature. Uh, this will help you get the token ID. Make sure USB debugging is enabled. We'll have two screens. Once the phone is in the bootloader, close the first command prompt screen. The second will initiate to get the token ID. I'll show you how to highlight uh, the entire identifier token. Uh, so go into your device and enable USB debugging if you haven't already. It will be down in the developer options. Go ahead and toggle it on, and then enable USB debugging. You'll probably hear the device reconnect if it's already connected via USB. A note that I learned on uh, XDA uh, developers is that it needs to be plugged into a USB 2.0 port, not a 3.0 port. I believe the left side of my laptop is equipped with USB 3.0 ports. So basically it wouldn't uh, actually start getting the token until I plugged it into the right side. The HTC drivers for Fastboot are already installed on my computer. You can see I've closed the first screen and it's waiting for device on the second. That's because I still had it plugged into the USB 3.0 port. So I went back to XDA, uh, read up a little bit more, and then plugged it into the other drive. And you can see here's the, uh, the token. So you want to use the right click mark feature. Don't copy the please cut following message. You want to cut the arrows, identify your token start, uh, close arrows, and then down to the bottom. Uh, just hit enter once you've highlighted the whole thing, it will automatically copy it all. All right, once you have your identifier token, you're going to want to go to the HTC dev site. There is a link from the application uh, that wasn't coming up, so I searched Google for HTC dev. I already have an account here. If you don't have one, you go, go ahead and sign up for one. Uh, once you've got that, go ahead and click get started. The device isn't actually on this list, so you'll go down to the very bottom and choose other compatible device or however they word it, all other supported models. Go ahead and sign in. It looped me back so I had to choose the phone model again. Right here you gotta go ahead and accept their terms. Once you check both of these boxes, go ahead and click proceed to unlock instructions. You will be fast forwarding through a few screens, basically because this application helps you obtain the token, the token already. So in step 10, go ahead and paste it in my device identifier token. You can see right here I accidentally copied too much and that's why it gave me this failure notice. So I just remarked the correct location, highlighted the end, and click enter. or I could have just cut the please cut this message out. So then hit submit. They're going to email you a file which you'll need to unlock the bootloader. Down that to a location where you can find it.
Then go back into the application. Click unlock bootloader. You will have to close any other windows that it had open. You need to be booted into the bootloader. It must say fast boot USB. Make sure your cable is connected. Read HTC's warning. This will factory reset and wipe out your entire phone. This includes the internal uh, SD card storage area. I did lose a bunch of photos because I thought that would remain intact. When you're ready, click OK. Locate the file that HTC gave you. Select it. You'll use the volume toggle buttons to select yes, and then power button to accept. So at this point your device will reboot. Your bootloader is unlocked and the device will take a little bit longer to start up because essentially it is a brand new phone. There's no data written to it. It's already wiped everything. Most people will choose to flash a custom recovery after this and permanently root the device. That video will be following this one. Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel.